We've reached calm. They're probably here. Let's go, Cloud. Hey, wouldn't happen to know any juicy gossip, would you? Thanks to the Shinra Company's Mako energy, our lives are much easier nowadays. I heard President Shinra was killed, and his son Rufus badly injured. I bet that's news to you, huh? I'm not interested. You're well informed. <laughs> Just between us, I hear they were both attacked by that Avala... Uh, uh... whatever it's called. Midgard, a so-called floating city. Just once I'd like to see it with my own eyes. Thanks to Mako Energy, life's pretty darn convenient. And we owe it all to Shinra. No way! Hmm. But I hate to think of what life be like without it. Mako Energy's made things a lot more convenient. But on the other hand, animals and plants have declined rapidly. I think the old ways may have been better. What do you think? Yeah! Did you say you came from Midgar? I used to live there. I hear they have a lot of trouble these days. A suspicious man in a black cloak showed up. He was carrying a mean-looking sword. Was as real as amateur. So embarrassing that I could just puke. I'm gonna join Soldier when I grow up. I'll play hard every day from now on. True that Shinra made those monsters? Yeah. Yeah, well, either way, we can hardly stand up to them if we're relying on their reactors. Tomorrow's another day. All's well. My dad was a miner, but when monsters started appearing at the mithril mine, he lost his job. Now all he does is sit around at the bar getting drunk. You see me? I used to work south of here at the mithril mine. A whole load of monsters started appearing there. Thanks to that, business went to pot. Now I spend all my days here getting hammered. I hear terrorists bombed a Mako reactor in Midgar. A lot of scary stuff is happening these days. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Apparently, an anti-Shinra group called Avalanche was active in Midgar. But looks like Soldier wiped them out in the end. Stay out of the kitchen.
Items, I've got them all. What can I get you? Welcome to the Materia Store! I'm sorry, our stock is a little low right now. Our supplier had some trouble with Materia Thief on their way here from Junon. If you head that way, be sure to avoid the forest, okay? Welcome to the weapon store. We've got weapons of all shapes and sizes. Hello, sir. Are you Cloud? Your companions are waiting for you upstairs. It's 20 gil a night. Will you be staying? No. Cloud, you're late. Come on! Way to go, not taking too long. Uh, sorry. Looks like I kept you all waiting. That's everyone. So, your story? Sephiroth, Crassus facing the planet. <laughs> Let's hear it. I wanted to be like Sephiroth. So I joined Soldier. After working with him on several missions, we got to know each other. You were friends? I'm not sure. I mean, he was older than me and didn't really talk about himself. <laughs> we were more like comrades, I guess. We trusted each other. Until... Soldier's main duty after the war was dealing with those who opposed Shinra. It was five years ago. I was 16. Sure is raining hard. Hey, how are you doing? I'll be all right. I guess I've been lucky. I've never had motion sickness. Are you ready? Hey. Settle down. They gave me new materia. I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Just like a child. Are you going to brief us on the mission? This time, our orders are far from typical. Good. Why do you say that? I joined soldier so I could be like you. But by the time I made first class, the war was over. If I want to be a hero, I need to be a part of something big. What about you, hero? 
How do you feel about this mission? I thought you wanted a briefing. Our orders are to investigate a deteriorated Maka reactor, which is behaving abnormally. There's also been an outbreak of brutal monsters in the area. Once we're finished with them, we can identify the problem at the reactor and neutralize it. Brutal monsters? Where? Nibelheim. Uh, Nibelheim? That's where I'm from. Is that so? Hmm. Hometown. Sir! Sir! Some crazy looking creature just jumped out at us! That would be one of our monsters. On your feet. Sephiroth's strength was unreal. He was far stronger in reality than any of the stories you hear. Even when compared to other soldiers, like you? Yeah. I was mesmerized by the way Sephiroth fought. <laughs> and then we reached Nibelheim. How does it feel? It's been a while since you were back in your hometown, right? So, how does it feel? I wouldn't know. I don't have a hometown. Um, then where are your parents? My mother's name was Genova. She died giving birth to me. My father... <laughs> What am I saying? Now, move out. Psst. You'll get in trouble if you keep wandering around. Ah, <sighs> lookout is so boring. Just sit tight. It's your job. I'll come and check on you once in a while. Just hang in there. It smells of Mako. Yo! Hang on! That's it, ain't it? What's Ephroth said? His mother's name. Genova! I remember! That damn headless freak in the Shinra building! That's right. Hold on, Barrett. Let's hear Cloud's story first. You can ask questions later. Come on, Tifa. Okay, Cloud, carry on. The childhood friends reunite. Tifa really surprised me. The village was deserted. I guess the people had shut themselves in their homes because of the monsters. No. Maybe they were afraid of us. We leave for the reactor at dawn. Make sure you get to sleep early tonight. Since we only need one lookout, the rest of you can take a break. Oh, that's right. You may visit your family and friends. I'm so nervous. Not me. I'm all fired up. What's wrong? You just never know when a monster might show up. I heard the Great Sephiroth was coming. 
So I brought my camera. I want a shot of him with a monster. Get back in your house. It's dangerous. Fine. Prompus ass. Huh? Isn't that... You! Are you Cloud? Really? That you? Hello! Welcome! Hey! Aren't you... Did I go in here? I don't remember. Now you're pissing me off! This don't matter! Get the hell on with it! This... is my house. It has nothing to do with the incident five years ago. Hang on. I want to hear it. Yeah, me too. It hadn't been a long time, right? Tell us more. You saw your family, yeah? Ah. <sighs> you say family, but... My father... died when I was young. That's why my mom... Lived here alone. Yeah. I saw my mom. She... She was so full of energy. Hadn't changed at all. And then... A few days later... She was dead. But when I last saw her... She looked better than ever. Ah... Uh, Yes? Welcome home, Cloud. Hi, Mom. Come, come. Let your mom take a good look at you. Hmm. You look so charming. This is a soldier uniform? Mom, listen, I... My, how you've grown! I'll bet the girls never leave you alone. Not really. I'm worried about you. The city's full of temptation. Your poor mom would feel a lot better if you settled down with a nice girlfriend. I'm fine. You know, if you had an older girlfriend, she'd give you some stability. I think a girl like that would be perfect. I'm not interested. Are you eating properly? I'm fine. The company takes care of me. Oh? I know you can't cook. I've been worried sick about you. Hey, Cloud. But you see, Cloud. What do you think, Cloud? Remember, I'll always be there for you. Let's stop this. Cloud? Did you go into my house? I thought you might be home. Cloud, did you go into my room to- Cloud, is that true? Cloud, we're talking about something really important here. A letter. Did you read it? The letter addressed to me? Yeah. Oh, of course. Can you remember what it said? No, I can't. I remember clearly. I read it. It was a letter from the son of the guy who ran the general store. Tifa, how are you? I arrived in Midgar eight days ago. 
Me and the boys from Nibelheim got together yesterday. Uh, oh, except for Cloud, that is. I didn't have any way of getting in contact with him. Then again, he was never really close to any of us, was he? And if I'd invited him, he wouldn't have been any fun. We all thought it was for the best. Yeah, well, anyway, enough about him. Midgar is really something. To tell you the truth, I felt totally behind the times, like a complete dork. I'm short on money right now, so I'm living in the slums. The rooms are clean at least. Someday, I'll get myself a stylish place somewhere. Well, that's the plan, but I need a job first. That's right, I still can't find a job. I lied to my parents. I sent them a letter saying I was working for the Shinra company. I wonder if it's too late to go back. To be honest, I think I should have taken over the family business. Hey, Cloud, do you remember all of it? No, that's it. Yeah. Somehow I remember the whole thing. Maybe because there was stuff about me in it? Even though I've only just arrived in Midgar, all I ever think about is Nibelheim. Hey, Tifa. Is that shabby old water tower still working? Is the old man at the inn okay? Are my parents still running the shop every day? Have there been any more attacks by those monsters? And most of all, how are you doing, Tifa? It already feels like I haven't seen you in years. We were all talking about you last night. Everyone likes you, and I've always admired you, but I can never betray my friends. You're our idol. I might have acted all cool, but the truth is, I, I was just scared of being rejected. Wow. If I keep this up, it'll become a love letter. So, I think I'll stop there. Take care. I'll write again soon. P.S. Write back, okay? Did you play my piano? Yeah. Now how did it go? Oh, that's right. You're with Shinra? Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry, it's you, Cloud. I didn't recognize you. Shinra? Shinra? Soldier? Ella? Are you gonna beat the monsters? Beat Mata? Who are you? I'm Zongen. I travel around the world teaching children martial arts. I have 128 students all over the world. In this village, a girl named Tifa is my student. Did you say Tifa? No, oh, Tifa is very perceptive. She'll be a powerful fighter. Um, the inn has been booked by the Shinra company for the night. Huh? Cloud? Cloud? Is that you? It must be... What? Two years? You've really moved up in the world. Being under Sephiroth's command.
What are you looking at? This scenery. It feels familiar somehow. We're one bed short. We're one bed short. We have an early start tomorrow. You should get some sleep. Yeah, might as well. I've hired a guy to take us to the Mako reactor. I'm told that she's young. I hope we can rely on her. Once the guide gets here, we're heading out. Listen to me, Sephiroth. If something happens to her... Calm down. I'll be alright, Dad. I have two strong men from Soldier with me. I'm Tifa. Nice to meet you. Tifa? You're the guide? That's right. It just so happens I'm the number one guide in the village. But it's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Then you can protect her. Very well. Let's go. Um... Mr. Sephiroth, a picture as a memento? Tifa, ask Cloud for me too. Jeez. Great, thanks. I'll give each of you a copy once I get it developed. A Mako reactor was built inside Mount Nebel. The cold mountain air was just as I remembered it. Tougher. Keep up. <laughs> the bridge. <laughs> Got you. Cloud. <laughs> Hang on. Can we make it back? The caves around here are intertwined, a bit like an ant farm, so... Oh, and Mr. Sephiroth, one of your men is missing. It may sound cruel, but we have no time to search for him. We can't go back, so we must go on. Stick close together. the Mako energy. This mountain is especially abundant in it. That's why our reactor was built here. What's this? A Mako spring. It's said to be a miracle of nature. Despite its great beauty? It too will disappear if the reactor continues to suck up the Mako energy.
That's materia. When Mako energy is condensed, materias like this one may form. It's very rare to see materia in its natural state. Now that you mention it, why is it that when we equip materia we can also use magic? You're in soldier and didn't know that? The knowledge of the ancients is sealed inside materia. The knowledge to manipulate the power of the land. It connects us to the planet and calls forth magic. Or so they say. Magic. A mysterious power. <laughs> Did I say something funny? A man once told me to never use unscientific terms like mysterious power. He said that it shouldn't even be called magic. I just remembered how angry he was, that's all. Who was it? Hojo of Shinra. An inexperienced man who inherited the work of a great scientist. He was a walking mass of complexes. A Mako Spring. So, the knowledge of the Ancients resides here. We've made it. That sure was the long way around, though. Tifa, you wait here. I'm going inside, too. I want to see. It's off-limits to civilians. This place is full of Shinra's industrial secrets. But... Take care of the young lady. Man! Better take real good care of me then. Genova. What's that? Is it locked? Here's the reason for the malfunction. This is broken. Cloud, close the valve. I see, Hojo. But you're still no match for Professor Gast. This system condenses and then freezes Mako energy. At least, it did originally. Now, what happens to Mako energy when it is further condensed? Um. Uh, mm. Oh yeah! It can become materia. Right, normally. But Hojo put something in there. Take a look. Look, through the window. <laughs> what is that? Normal members of Soldier, like you, have been bathed in Mako. You're different from normal people, but still human. However, what about these? They've been exposed to far higher concentrations of Mako than you. So these are the monsters? Yes, and it was Hojo of Shinra who produced these monsters. Grotesque life forms created by Mako energy. That's the reality of it. Normal members of the soldier? 
You mean you're different? Hey, Sephiroth! No, it's not possible. Was I? Was I created the same way? Sephiroth! Am I no different to these monsters? You saw them. All of them. They're human. Human? No way! Ever since I was a child, I felt different from the rest. Special somehow. But not like this. Am I no different? I didn't understand the words at the time. More than anything, I was shocked that Shinra had been creating monsters. Oh, Shinra! The more I hear it, the more I hate it! Who would have believed that the Mako reactor held a secret like that? Is this the reason for the increase in monsters over the past few years? I think we should listen to Cloud's story more carefully from here on. Isn't that so, Barrett? What are you asking me for? Yeah, I guess so. Let's take a breather. Hmm, Tifa, did you wait outside the whole time? Yeah. We returned to Nibelheim. Sephiroth confined himself to the inn. He wouldn't talk to anyone. And then he just disappeared. We found him inside the biggest building in Nibelheim. The villagers called it the Shinra Mansion. It had been unoccupied for as long as I could remember. We hadn't even been born the last time it was used. People from Shinra lived there a long time ago. There's no sign of Mr. Sephiroth, but I know I saw him go into that room. A seemingly dead organism was found in a 2,000-year-old stratum. Professor Gast named the organism Genova. Year 1977. Genova is confirmed an ancient. Between 1977 to 1986, Genova Project authorized and Marker Reactor 1 approved for use. My mother's name is Genova. Genova Project. 
is this just a coincidence? Professor Gast, why didn't you tell me anything? Why did you die? I wish to be alone. Thereafter, Sephiroth confined himself to the mansion. He continued to read as if possessed, and not once did the light in the basement go out. Sephiroth seems different. Who's there? <laughs> Loathsome traitor. Traitor? You ignorant traitor. I will explain it to you. This planet originally belonged to the Cetra, a race of nomads. They would travel, unlock the planet, and then move on. At the end of their long, harsh journey, they would find the promised land and supreme happiness. However, some began to dislike traveling. They built dwellings and elected to lead an easier life. They took that which the Cetra and the planet had bestowed upon them and gave back not one wit in return. Those are your ancestors. Sephiroth. Long ago, disaster struck the planet. Your ancestors fled in all directions. They survived because they hid. The crisis was averted because the Cetra sacrificed themselves. After that, your ancestors continue to spread out and multiply. Now all that's left of the Cetra are these reports. What does this have to do with you? Don't you see? A 2,000-year-old ancient named Genova was found in a layer of ice, which led to the Genova Project. The Genova Project intended to create humans with the abilities of the ancients, that is, the Cetra. I was the one created. C created? Yes, Professor Gast. Leader of the Genova Project and genius scientist created me. How did he? Sephiroth? Out of my way. I'm going to see my mother. No, it's you. You're still sane, right? Then come over here and give me a hand.
I'll check this house. You take the one over there. Hey. Hey. Am I gonna die? Zephyr! <laughs> Terrible. Sephiroth, this is beyond cruel. It was Sephiroth. Sephiroth did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldier. Mako reactors. Shinra. All of them! I hate them all! Mother, I'm here to see you. Please open the door. How could you do that to my dad? How could you do that to everyone in the village? When I'm in a bind, you said you'd come. You promised me. There. Let's take back the planet. I have a great idea. We'll head to the Promised Land. Sephiroth. My family. My hometown. How could you? Here they are again, Mother. With your superior abilities, knowledge, and magic, you were destined to rule the world. But they... Those worthless creatures... are stealing the planet from Mother. But now, I'm here with you. So don't worry.
What are you going to do about this grief? My family, my friends, having my hometown taken from me. It's the same as your sorrow! <laughs> my sorrow? What do I have to be sorrowful about? I am the Chosen One. I have been chosen to rule this world. I was given life in order to take this planet back from imbeciles like you. To reclaim it for the Cetra. What, then, should I be sad about? Sephiroth, I trusted you. No, not anymore. You're not the Sephiroth I used to know! Sephiroth! And that's the end of my story. Wait a damn minute! What happened next? I don't remember. What happened to Sephiroth? Considering the sheer strength he possessed, it's unlikely I defeated him. Sephiroth has been declared dead in the public records. I read it in the newspaper. The Shinra Company is in charge of the media, so you can't rely on that. I need to be sure. But what happened back then? I went up against Sephiroth and survived. Why didn't he kill me? I'm alive too. What about Genova? A lot of this doesn't fit. It was in the Shinra building, right? Yeah. Shinra shipped it from Nibelheim to Midgar. Did someone come and take it? It's not in the Shinra building anymore. Sephiroth? Uh, I don't get none of this. I'm going. Going. Gone. I'll leave the thinking to you. Yo, Cloud. Come on, get ready. What are you waiting for? You just gonna stand there and let Sephiroth get to the promised land? I ain't letting Sephiroth or Shinra get there. Otherwise, we're all screwed. That much I do know. Leave it to me. Oh boy. <laughs> Cloud? How bad was I after Sephiroth sliced me? I thought you were a goner. It was awful. <laughs> I... The Ancients, the Cetra, Genova, Sephiroth and me. Let's go. Barrett's waiting. What a fascinating story. Hey! Take this. Changing party members. Access the menu and select PHS. The PHS can only be used on the world map and at save points. The PHS allows us to stay in touch. If anything happens, make sure to use it, yeah? With the PHS, keeping in contact with each other is a breeze. All right, we're off. You must be travelers. I know a few things that may come in handy when you're out there. Want me to tell you them? All right then, let me explain how to use the world map. What would you like to know? Map indicators. The keys. You can view the world map by pressing start. The map comes in two sizes. Use them properly and you'll avoid getting lost all the time. Pressing start again will change the map size or make it disappear entirely. Useful, huh? Anything else you'd like to know? The keys. No, that's enough. You can save anywhere on the world map by accessing the menu. It's a good idea to save frequently. Well then, bon voyage! <laughs>